Welcome back everyone to the Complete Pine Leaf. I am outside of the Dragonbone Inn where I am about to speak to Althi about his suspicions about the area. I like you. You are good in a fight. That much is clear. Are you also good at holding things in confidence? Uh, yes, I won't betray your trust. Oh, good. I have worked at my craft for a long time, Pineleaf. My father and my brothers are jewelers of no small skill, celebrated throughout the kingdoms of the dwarves, and I too have achieved no small success in the field. For dozens of years the gem cutters had no equal, and the pieces we crafted were so fair even the most judgmental eye could be made to weep at their beauty. You should have seen them, my new friend. But something has happened for the past few years. None of my efforts of late have achieved the same level of success as my earlier work. None of my pieces seem to sparkle as they once did, and others of my kind report a similar waning of their craft skill. What's happening to Duran's folk? There is some discussion underway at Erebor, and few can agree as to the cause. I have taken to wandering, trying to come up with an explanation for this decay. I was on my way back to the mountains when we met Pineleaf. I had found no solution, but your quest has given me an idea. Could it be that Karasgar is responsible for the decline of our craft skill? He is active in the area and has no love for Deeran's folk. Perhaps he has worked some evil against us. I invite you to go to Erebor and share what you have learned with the Weeping Warrior with King Thorin. I may be, it may be that our problems are related. I encourage you to slay some of the beasts on the way, my friend. I will as well, and see you there. Right, so... On the Erebor and slay a few beasts as they go along. There it is. The first look at Erebor, the Lonely Mountain. It's hard to make it out completely in this sky out there at this distance, but you can see the peak there and all the ground beneath it. And I guess it'll just get larger and larger as we get closer and closer. Ah, here's a beast I can try. An Aurochs bull. Let's see how well I can do against this one. That's a good ambush, at least. Yeah, how are you doing? Probably not happy that I just tossed a spear in his back, if you ask me. Ouch! There you go. And I just have to try... Well, how about this... How about this deer? Let's try that one. Ooh, bells coming from the city. All right, here next. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, that's two of them. Maybe I could get one or two before I reach Dale. Okay, that's the... Now the mountain is taking much more of the view. And I assume that tower there is the bell tower of the keep in Dale and it looks like we're going to reach the city though before I find any more creatures I won't be spending much time here yet but I might as well greetings tag the stable master so that I'll be able to get through here in the future now on to Erebor I can see the entrance to the Lonely Mountain right over there. That's a big entrance to be seen from this distance. Here are some nice hunting grounds. And I'll be needing nice hunting grounds if I am going to... Hmm. 
meet this quota before reaching the Lonely Mountain. I'll probably have to spend a little bit of time here. Because I am going to be needing seven more animals before I reach this place. And it is getting close, that's for sure. I think I've killed enough of the local wildlife. Now, the final leg to the Lonely Mountain. And it is much bigger now. Now you can even see the banners ready to welcome me inside. Well, we'll see how much of a welcome I get. I hope I at least get a welcome from Althe and his family. And here we are. Erebor. One of the great halls of the dwarves. Formerly the home of the Dragon Schmog. But that was quite a bit a long time ago. It also seems to have recovered from the War of the Ring a bit. I heard there was a battle around here. Just before. Let's see. Here we go. And let's tag the Stable Master. Well met. Well met. Now, I guess Alfie is inside, or is Alfie upstairs? Ah, <sighs> stairs. Well, it is a mountain. Alfie is not alone. Gandalf stands nearby. Oh, hello. Now he's suddenly Gandalf again. At last you arrive. I have been waiting for some time. Althea arrived before you did, and he told me about your exploits in Lake Town. Perhaps if you spent less time carousing in taverns and more time riding, you would not have kept me waiting so long in the cold. You and Althea did not only not the only recent arrivals to the Lonely Mountain. You will find a member of number of old friends inside. Each of them brought hither from concern. Find them on the way to the throne of the hall under the mountain, and you may learn their purpose matches our own. Oh, one more thing, Pine Leaf. In these lands, I am known as Gandalf, and not as Mithrandir. Uh, that did not confuse you. Don't worry. That was the first name I knew you by. Bounce, 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 bounce. This place looks rather impressive. Now, where can I find these friends that Gandalf spoke of? Perhaps some of them are along the way there. Maybe I shouldn't run so fast. Perhaps I will be less likely to miss them along the way. Now, where are they? Hold on, here's somebody. Ah, we have Dory, and Wallen, and Glowing. Hello there. My travels do not bring me home very often. My travels don't bring me home to Erebor very often, for dying made me the mountain's chief horde seeker. I am often away, wandering in the wilderness in search of lost dwarf holes and treasure caches. Many are the gold and jewels I have found to swell Erebor's treasuries, but the fading crap skill of my people means they languish within, unimproved and unused. That is a terrible pity. Should the Arkenstone be taken from the tomb of Thorin? Hmm. Would that restore the craft skill of my people and enable them to create great works such as they did of old? I once thought it so, but I set aside that belief when my younger brother Ori departed with Balin. The argument filled me with sadness, and I had a job to do. I could not dwell upon the grief. Perhaps the decline of my people is not could not be prevented, Arkenstone or no. I am pleased to see my friends and kinsmen, but I don't think we can recapture our glories of old. Hmm. What does Dwalin think? 
It has been some time since we have all gathered here. It does my heart good to see my friends and distant kin, despite the worries that drew us here. I wish my brother was with us. <sighs> Balin believed, as that did many good dwarves, that it had been a mistake for the Arkenstone to be entombed with Thorin. He thought the heart of the mountain should be proudly displayed for all to see and his brilliance would inspire great works of craft and beauty. As the craft skill of deer and folk began to wane, the research Balin conducted convinced him that sealing away the Arkenstone was to blame. He quarreled with Dain on the matter, and this disagreement caused the king to remove him from his council. It was the last injury that compelled Balin to leave. He took Ori and Oin, as well as many other dwarves, and they sought to reclaim the ancient dwarf home of Khazadu. I did not side with my brother on this. I remained loyal to dying. He elevated me to my position of steward of Thorns Hall, but not a day passed where I did not miss my brother and wonder if I should have gone with him. But now Balin is gone. And Khazadum is lost. And what have you, Gloin? I prefer when things are simple. Should we not have entombed the Arkenstone of Thorin? It seems the right course back then, and no one argued against it. If the craft skill of my people is fading, who is to say it would be any different if the Ark and Stone were not sealed away? Bah! Let the wise beards discuss it amongst themselves. Balin believed the Ark and Stone should be removed from Thorin's tomb, and he was the wisest of us. But he is dead. Now, this weeping warrior, that is a subject more of my liking. I say we find him, let our axes and hammers do the talking, and give him something to cry about. Nice and simple. It may not solve everything, but I wager it wouldn't hurt. <laughs> not us, anyway. Well, I guess not. Now, let's go and speak with Gandalf. Oh, there he is. I do not know what has caused this decline. But I see some possibilities. I don't know whether entombing the Arkenstone with Thorn Oakenshield is to be blamed for it, but my suspicion is that it is not. There is another possibility, and in it I see the workings of our enemy. What if the Arkenstone has been taken from the tomb of Thorin without the knowledge of the dwarves? It may be that the Arkenstone no longer lies with Thor and Oakenshield, and his departure has adversely affected the skills of Durin's folk. The tomb must be opened, finally, if we are to ensure the Arkenstone remains within. We must ask King Thorin III for permission for this. Uh, permission to open the tomb of Thorin Oakenshield, of his namesake. Oh boy, this is really going to be easy. There he is, King Thorin the Third. Can Gandalf combat this worrying decline in our craft skill? I am concerned as any of my people about this worrying decline of crafts of our artisans, but I don't know what can be done about it. Dying before me also did not have a solution. Do you and Gandalf have a suggestion? I'm willing to hear any proposal, but I am not confident any solution can be found. You wish to open the tomb of Thorin Oakenshield? And are ensure that the Arkenstone remains within. Nan could have breached the tomb without our knowledge, Pine Leaf. And yet, even as I speak these words, I'm gripped with uncertainty. If the heart of the mountain has been taken, it might explain the diminishment of our craft skill. <sighs> yes, Pineleaf, 
We should learn if the Arkenstone still lies within the tomb, or if some enemy has taken it. I alone cannot give you leave to open the tomb of Thor and Oakenshield, though I am king under the mountain, and possess lordship of all that lies within. It would not be proper to open Mazal Akraz without the permission of Thorin's sister, Dis. Her children also lie in that place, and I would not have their rest or that of her brother disturbed without her leave. She is the keeper of Ravenhill, Pineleaf, and that is where you'll find her. Speak to her and learn if she will allow the tomb to be opened. All right. What do you say about that, Gandalf? I'm sure he heard it. Now, listen here, and listen close. Thord Oakenshield's sister Dees is very old, and she's unlikely at first to be very accommodating to our request. She will look more favorably upon it, I expect, if she were to see the familiar faces of Thorin's old friends and companions. But not all at once. Such a crowd will set her ill at ease, and she will not allow the intrusion. I think there may be a way. I am reminded of an old trick that was of use to me during the quest of Erebor which Mog was still alive. I will let the remaining dwarves of Thorin's company know my plan. For your part, speak to Dees, and be as friendly and as helpful as you may. Alright, fine. Ravenhill. Which way is Ravenhill? Ah! This must be Dees. Yes? Dees stares at you, but says nothing more. Hesitantly, you begin to ask about the Arkenstone, but before you can properly word the request, she interrupts you. The heart of the mountain? It lies with my brother, Thorin, beneath the mountain. I have not visited him in some years. Hmm. The path down the hill is choked with brush and stones. Someone should do something. Alright, I guess I can do that. Very well. I guess I could take a hint there. Let's take care of the brush. Here we go. Some more. Some stones that are in the way. And before long, this place will be nice and neat. Oh, look! Loin and Dwalin have arrived. <sighs> well, the conversation has left me parched. Hi, these are my cousins. Come from afar. Dwalin is the steward of Thorns Hall in the Blue Mountains, and Gloin acts as an emissary for the king under the mountain. The conversation has left me parched. If I am to entertain visitors, I will need more water to refresh me. Yes. I suppose you will. Let's go and find the well. Ah! Here's a well right over here. Now let's fetch a pail of water. And carry it. Pine leaf needles went up to... Went, pine leaf needles went down the hill to fetch a pail of water. Then I had to run back up. Ah! Back with the water. Oh, my goodness gracious! More visitors! Let's see, we have a young dwarf, a couple of bomber, a couple of young dwarfs to help carry bomber along. All right. And Bofer. This is a day for visitors. Ah, Beefer, the Keeper of Hammers, and Bofer, the Master of Chisels, have come to Raven Hill. Even Bomber, the Warden of the Larders, has paid me a visit. Most unexpected. These dwarves accompanied my brother and my sons on the quest of Erebor. 
Ah, uh, yes. Concerning the quest of Erebor, Bomber's progress up the hill was slow, and he told me that he spied a number of foes in the vicinity of Dale during his ascent. I can't think about the heart of the mountain while my neighbors are endangered. Right. Fine, 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 fine. Let's take care of some foes in the area. And make sure that everything is nice. Now, where are these foes that Bomber found? And make sure it is all nice and clear. I wonder if the lynx counts as a foe, or if she's talking about orcs, but I don't think there are too many orcs in the area, so I will see if this lynx counts as a foe. Well, apparently so. I think this bat up ahead is even more obviously a foe. It's a big bat! And we don't need that around here. Oh, yes, it looks like I have hit the jackpot now. We've got a moose. Oh, we've got some deer. And I see you see a boar up ahead. It appears that Gandalf has also arrived. More friends have arrived. And the wizard, too. As friends, I count Dory, the High Horde Seeker, and Nori, the Keeper of Coffers. They are my distant kin. Of the wizard Gandalf, I have fewer kind words to speak. Hmm. Ah, there's nothing else that needs doing right now, but do not think I am unaware of this plan of yours. I have so few visitors on most days that this slow trickle of friends and kin must mean something. You might as well tell me, what do you surviving members of my brother's adventuring band ask of his sister? And this silences me with a look as Gandalf is about to speak. I don't want to hear it from you, wizard. I want this hobbit to tell me. Well, spit it out! Spit it out. You think the heart of the mountain has been stolen from my brother's tomb? My brother, Thorin, was entombed in Mazal Akraz with the Arkenstone and with the Nelven sword besides. You think the heart of the mountain has been stolen? What thief would dare disturb the Oaken Shield's rest or risk the guards of the tomb? No, don't try to convince me of this. There is no need. It has been too long since I visited my brother and my sons, where they lie beneath the mountain. I will allow you to ensure the Arkenstone remains with the Thorn while I pay my respects to my brother and the Feely and Keely. I am old, Hobbit. It will be good for Durant's folk to know the fate of the heart of the mountain, and it will benefit my own heart to see my lost kin at least once more before I join them. Tell the wizard he has my permission but not to go alone. We will go together. We will go together. And what will we find when we head to the tomb? We have to find that out in the next episode of The Complete Finally.